Today's quick coding tip focuses on how to use Excludes 1 instructional notes. My name is Claire and I'm an inpatient coding auditor. In my coding tips and tricks videos, you'll discover valuable insights to help sharpen your medical coding skills and code with confidence. If that sounds like something that would be helpful to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release new content. One of the most confusing things for coders when it comes to applying the excludes one note is deciding which of the two conditions should be assigned the code. The general rule is that only the code for the condition mentioned in the excludes one note should be assigned, as long as there's no conflicting coding guideline preventing it. For example, let's take a look at respiratory failure. There's an excludes one note for acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS, so if both respiratory failure and ARDS are documented in the medical record, we'll only assign the code for ARDS as referenced in the note. Now let's consider a situation where there's a conflicting guideline that prevents us from assigning the code mentioned in the excludes one note. In the case of code K529 for non-infective gastroenteritis and colitis, diarrhea NOS is excluded. Although the excludes one note refers us to use code R197 for diarrhea, Colitis is a condition that includes diarrhea as a symptom, and according to the guidelines, we must always assign a definitive diagnosis code rather than a symptom code. Therefore, in this case, we'll just stick with the code for the gastroenteritis and not assign the code for the symptom mentioned in the excludes one note. It's important to understand that excludes one notes exclude conditions rather than codes from being reported together. Sometimes there can be multiple conditions that fall under the same code. So when you're checking the excludes one note, make sure to pay attention to the specific condition that's excluded and not just the code itself. Let me give you an example. Category D69 purpura and other hemorrhagic conditions has an excludes one note for purpura fulminans, which is coded as D65. Now, if you take a look at code D65, we'll see that it is assigned for multiple different conditions. But here's the thing, the excludes one note from category D69 only applies to the condition purpura fulminans and not to all the other conditions that code to D65. Lastly, an exception to the excludes one definition is when the two conditions are clearly unrelated. For example, say a patient has a congenital deformity in their toes, but comes in with an acquired deformity in their finger, those conditions are clearly unrelated. In this case, we can see that category M20, which covers acquired deformities of the fingers and toes, has an excludes one note for congenital deformities and malformations of the fingers and toes. However, since the conditions are clearly unrelated, we can disregard the excludes one note and assign the codes for both conditions. So that's it for today's quick tip. I really hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if there's any topics that you would like me to cover in the future, just leave a comment below and I'll add them to my list. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy coding.